In this video we're going to have a look at the landing page creator that MailChimp gives you. If you have a MailChimp account, um, it's free to use. And I'm just going to walk you through the process of how to create a landing page. So if you can't find it in the dashboard, if you just come over to MailChimp.com uh, forward slash features forward slash landing pages, you'll be brought to this page here. Now, I'm just going to show you, just click the link, try it out. At the moment, I am logged into my MailChimp account. So once you do that and you're logged in, you will find um, this pop-up up here. So in this case, I am just going to type um, just a kind of title, any kind of title. I'll just show you this example. So I'm going to type in test page. And then I'm, you can select then the list where you want these subscribers to go on to. So in this case, I'm going to go on to right come subscribers and click begin. And it'll take you to this edit page where you can edit the details on your landing page. So for example here, um, it's very easy to do. Um, if you have a MailChimp account already and you've, you know how to set up an email and how to work with the templates they have for the emails, the landing page creator is just more or less the exact same. So for example here, if I wanted to edit this logo, it just simply matter of just clicking the pencil button here to edit this block and then replacing the image. Just click on the replace. So in this case, I can go through any of the images that I've already um, used here. So for example, here, I'm just going to use this cheap children's banner that I have here. So once you click and select it, just go up to insert. And then your logo is going to show up at the top of your landing page. Now, if you don't want to have the, your logo on the landing page at all, it's just a simple matter of clicking the trash can and deleting that whole block and that will just disappear. So then the next part then of your landing page creator is come to the headline. So this is where you're going to put in your enticing headline that's going to get people to subscribe to uh, your email list and download the report or whatever it is. Now, if you've gone through the video before on the landing page examples, you'll probably have ideas of what are a strong headline to put in here. And if you haven't watched that video uh, yet, I highly recommend you go back because it'll give you a lot of great examples of, you know, what uh, looks good on a landing page and, you know, the, the wording. If you're not very familiar with copywriting and you don't actually know what are the kind of enticing words to use that, you know, will make somebody uh, download your report, I recommend you go back and watch that um, video again and just go, go to that um, blog page and scroll down and just with a uh, pen and paper and take notes on what looks good on landing pages and you know what would entice you to um to um give over your email address for your for a report or whatever so then once you have that you basically just um again just click on the pencil button here and then it's just a matter of just putting in your text now this text editor is very easy to use it's just a matter of just bold and uh, the different textiles uh size how you align the text and all that is just a very very easy to use so there's nothing complicated here and then once you've um, come to a headline that you really like just click the save and close and then this will just put it over here so then you move on to the next um, text block again it's just a matter of clicking the pencil and then rewording the text to whatever way you want to do it. Now, if you'd like to um, maybe particularly maybe put maybe an image of the report you're giving away or something like that, what you can do is you can use these um, boxes here on the right hand side. So, for example, here, if you wanted to use maybe a picture of your maybe a, a cover of your email report along with a little bit of text, just simply just click on this box and just drag it over. And then it's a matter of just placing it on the form where you want it to appear. So for example, I wanted to have it here underneath this headline. That is it. And then basically, again, all you have to do is just click the pencil button, but it's already opened up here. So what I can do is I can browse for an image. So for example, if I was going to do a report maybe on that, just select that one. Again, click the insert. And there is the image then shown on my landing page. And then if I wanted to, rather than having the text here, I could just delete this block here and just reuse this section here and have the text from uh, why I want to convince this person or why they should download this report. So again, it's very easy to do once you just play around with the text here, whatever text you want to put in here, and then click save and close. 
So for example here, if I wanted to get rid of this text block, it's just a simple matter of clicking the trash can, uh, hit and delete, and there you go. That is how the works. So then it's a matter of the people then can just fill in their email address. Again, I wouldn't look for anything more than an email address, so not really why you should really need, um, although it used to be a while back, you would need maybe the person's first name and, you know, um, surname and things like that. But nowadays, it's the more uh, information people have to hand over, the more they're kind of hesitant to do so. So in case, um, you know, of all these different uh, ways people are being ripped off online like phishing schemes and all this kind of things some people would rather just give away the, the very basics of information to you so they wouldn't want to give maybe your first name and their email or sorry their surname but rather just give you an email address so in this case i would just simply go for the email address i wouldn't look to add anything else just, because the more information you look for the more people are probably hesitant to do it and the probably the lower the opt-in rate you're going to have so I would just leave it as it is. And then if you're happy with everything on the landing page the way it is, it's just a simple matter of clicking the save and close. And then coming down to the bottom of the page here and go to the save and continue option. So if we just click on here. So this is the, the web link of where your form is going to be. So in this case here, um, you can actually add a page title. So when this landing page shows up in somebody's um, web browser, you can actually show um, what you'd like to have in as the title here. So for this example, I'm just going to type in free report. So again, this is where, when they um, come to this page, this is what will be on the top of the browser bar. It'll say get your free report or whatever message you want to have here. So then what you're gonna have is you're gonna have to, um, you can edit the, the email address here, or sorry, the, the web address here. You can edit only the last bit here. You can't edit anything after this because MailChimp is gonna host this landing page for you. So it's very handy if you haven't got um, web hosting, maybe the, you have the bare uh, basics at the moment, maybe you just have a domain name and you haven't got anything else. And it allows you to get a landing page set up and drive traffic through it, to it to get people to subscribe to your list. And maybe later on, maybe if you're, you know, when you're, having more money and your, your budget increases maybe then you can move on to maybe setting up a wordpress account or something like that so in this case it's very easy to you know you've no reason and no excuse not to have a landing page on the internet so again what it's done is it seems to have taken the text i have here in the title and added it on here but again i imagine a simple thing of yeah you just edit the text and whatever you want to have at the end of your um, link. Now, it doesn't really matter all that much um, unless maybe you had maybe um, a group of landing pages and you could just change the text here. So you actually know at first glance yourself without actually clicking on the landing page, what each landing page is in the list. So this might actually work better for you if you had like a series of all these different landing pages. You just know straight away, well, that landing page is for... Uh, my makeup report, this landing page is for my dog train report or whatever it is. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I'm just going to click save. Now again, you can go back and you can edit the list if you have the wrong um, mail list attached to it. You can change that. And then you can come down to, you can design the, design the landing page again. If you feel maybe you need to go back and edit something or you forgot something or you just want to have a look at it one more time, you can design the landing page again. So I am not going to do the next step, which is actually to come up here and publish it. And what that will do is it will make this um, link go live. So this landing page will exist. Now, it won't exist until you publish this. Hit the publish button. Um, it's still in the edited kind of phase. But when you do click on this, then it will publish a page for you. So again, um, you can actually put a recapture uh, form on your form as well. I wouldn't actually bother doing that, but it's personally up to you what you'd like to do. So that is how easy it is to create a free landing page with MailChimp if um, you know if you haven't got any hosting account or anything for 
you know, when the website or anything set up, it gives you no excuse not to have a landing page app and working on your list. Now, I'm just going to show you how, if you have a domain name, how you can use this link here so that when people actually type in your domain name, you know, they won't be typing in this mail, chi.mp, and then us long full address. So maybe you've gone to somewhere like GoDaddy, which I buy my domain names with. Maybe you've got it. For example, here, these are the different domain names that I have in my account. Uh, one of them was from my Minecraft novels. So say, for example, I had bought this domain name in um, GoDaddy, and I wanted to use this domain name here rather than this long MailChimp address, because at the end of the day, who's going to remember this you know, address? Nobody, you know, unless you have maybe a hyperlink or something like that where you can send people to it. But if you have to explain to somebody, you need to type in this long, long address and you, you know, you're reading it out to them. There's no way they're going to get to it. So in this case, what I recommend you should do is at least buy a domain name. So in this case, if I was going to use this Minecraft uh, novels domain name as the link that I was going to send people to, and I wanted to attach this to my landing page from Mailchimp, it's a simple matter of just coming over to the DNS settings. Now, depending on who you're buying the domain names with, this uh, dashboard may look completely different. But again, it's going to be the same thing. If you come over to the DNS settings and just click on it, I just wait for it to load up here. So again, I'm just going to scroll down here to the bottom of the page. I don't need any of this information. I don't need these name servers. What I'm looking for is a forwarding. Now, at the minute, I have that Minecraft novels um, email, oh, sorry, domain name is pointing to an Amazon page where I have all my uh, Minecraft books. So that is why this is up here. But if you haven't uh, set up a forwarding thing yet, this will be completely blank. So it's just a matter of clicking the pencil here. And then what you do then is you put in the you just copy from here all the way forward and copy this full address here. Just leave out this last piece here at the beginning piece with the forward slashes and just go from the M forward, copy that full link and then paste it in here. And then when you see the start of the domain name, you can see it's a HTTPS. So I come back over here and then I have the option to select between HTTP or HTTPS. So in this case, I would select the HTTPS. I would type that in and then depending on how I want to set up the redirects, whether I wanted a permanent or a temporary one. In this case, I have gone for a temporary one, but it doesn't really matter. Now what you can do is they have these other settings, which is a forward only or forward with masking. Now what forward with masking means that um, when they type in that domain name, it actually will show the domain name in the the web browser box. It won't actually show the big long Mailchimp dot 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 whatever the landing page is. It will only show the domain name. So, for example, if I'm gonna just gonna show you, if I go here to, I can show a title for the page that they'll come from. So, if they came to that landing page, they would find this here, Brian, the collection of, and then a little description of what the landing page, as if they had landed on a normal kind of web page, all the information that would be on it, and then any particular keywords or information I wanted to fill in. So, that would load up like a normal landing page. It wouldn't actually show, like, it would override the kind of generic uh, MailChimp information that would have on the landing page. And it would put all this information on instead. So it looked like I had actually landed on a, of a web page rather than um, a free page that was hosted by MailChimp. So I'm just not going to change that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So again, that's a simple matter of just filling those details in. Click and save. So then when somebody came along and typed in um, Minecraft novels, they would go straight to that landing page. And again, if I mask the um, domain name, it would show uh, Minecraft novels in the address bar rather than this long uh, MailChimp report just in case somebody came to this page and then was wondering why you know if the top maybe it was it was something dodgy about the page if they arrived to you know when they typed in one domain name and then all of a sudden they got this other domain name maybe this report maybe this wasn't a legitimate uh, web page and maybe it might put them off actually filling their details in because maybe they might think that um, you know, some kind of phishing thing or something like that where the details were being robbed. So if you wanted to do that and set up the masking thing instead, so your domain name will show up here rather than the um, 
the link. I don't know if it would actually affect how many people would actually opt into your um, landing page, but it might be something to take a look at just to get rid of this kind of long, dirty um, web link and just have your domain name and make it look a lot cleaner and probably make it look a lot more professional too that that is the landing page you own rather than that you're just relying on a free page from uh, MailChimp. So again, that is how easy it is to set up a landing page or create a landing page with MailChimp and then how to take that address then how to put it into your domain name by using the forward option on the DNS and that is how easy it is. So the next video, I'm just going to show you if you have a WordPress account then, um, the plugins that you can use and where you can actually get some cheap plugins if you wanted to buy, uh, get a paid feature. Okay.